City of Folly Beach revisited its short term rental ordinance with its first reading before council at tonight's meeting. This time last year, the city voted to cap rentals like condos and Airbnbs to 800 across the island. But some residents still have concerns. Live Five's Destiny Kennedy joins us live from Folly Beach City Hall. And Destiny, what did they discuss at tonight's meeting out there? Justin, residents are still divided about the ordinance. Some are concerned that the cap will affect potential investments, while others approve and feel it will prevent disruptive renters. During the work session, the council clarified the language as far as how many nights a property can be rented for, wait list and rental license requirements, and adding definitions to the ordinance to give it more structure. What did not change was the cap of 800 for short-term rentals. But this is an ordinance, and it's like all other ordinances everywhere. It never goes away. It's always there, and it's always there. It can be amended many, many times as going forward. As, as time goes on and you see where you are and what you say, okay, well, this A is not really where we want to be. We want to be over here at C so you can make an amendment to get you where you need to be. Last year, more than 1,200 people turned out to vote for or against the short-term rental cap. Ultimately, 655 residents voted for the cap and 577 against it. Folly Beach Mayor Tim Goodwin was among those who voted for the cap. It will take several years for current short-term rentals to dwindle down to 800 from either people selling their property or no longer renewing their license. Trying to create a balance, <clears throat> and uh, this is a uh, compromise, so everybody's not happy. And as you heard, some of the councilmen or people alluded to that tonight. Uh, little, give a little, take a little. No, nobody's going to be completely happy with what you're doing, but that's what happens. And in politics, that's probably the best place you can be. A second reading next Tuesday to discuss any further amendments. Reporting live on Folly Beach, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News. Now, also during the meeting, Council Member Eddie Ellis officially resigned as he'll be moving to St. Louis. Council members asked residents to be kind and tolerant during the upcoming election process, looking for Ellis's replacement.